So my name is Matthew Dunville. Um, I'm a PhD student at John Moores University. Uh, it's a part-funded uh, scholarship from the company that I work for, which is soccer. Um, and right now we're doing uh, work on physical activity and health within schools. So Soccer is a new company designed by Kevin Keegan that wants to promote physical activity in children and adults. Now what we do is we have three strands to Soccer. We have the corporate strand, we have the schools programme and we also have the leisure and fitness strand. Guided by the government guidelines, uh, most kids or children between the ages of 7 to 11 should be getting 60 minutes of moderate to vigorous physical activity each day. Now unfortunately many children aren't actually getting that. So what soccer are doing now is we're going into schools and we're trying to increase children's physical activity levels. Now unfortunately um, there's many barriers towards physical activity that doesn't actually happen. Um, it happens outside of school and in, inside of school as well. So what we want to do is we want to educate, inspire and teach teachers to develop their physical acti activity behaviours in their children and also in themselves to increase physical activity and health behaviours throughout the school to foster a whole school culture. Yeah, so what we do is we go into the schools, our intervention, which normally lasts about 12 weeks. Um, the first point of the intervention is going in there and delivering what we call a soccer day. We go in, we get all the kids to play the, the games, roughly around uh, 150 to 180 children play the whole games in the day, which we like to call our whole school intervention. So what happens is the kids will come in, each class normally containing 30 children, will play the games, which roughly lasts an hour, once they've played, they'll go off and that's the end of the intervention. My research is split into three areas um, accordingly, like my phase one, two and three of my PhD. It's actually guided by the Medical Research Council's framework. Um, and the first phase of that is the development phase. And what that really is here is me going into schools, like I said before, getting a rich contextual experience of, of school culture. What we've also done in the phase one of the development is we've done interviews with all the teachers um, and head teachers to ask them about the uh, challenges, uh, needs, all that sort of thing and then focus groups with the kids to get a real, real understanding of how soccer can be better implemented into schools. So what we found in the preliminary findings is that Teacher confidence is really a big issue and also teacher physical activity knowledge as well. So part two of the, of the study or phase two, we're actually going to incorporate a teacher training uh, education which is going to last approximately 10 weeks, which is also going to go alongside the children's education. And what's really nice about the whole process is that we're actually going to incorporate behaviour change theory into, into, the, into the intervention. So not only are we going to teach the teachers how to make the children be more physically active, or make is probably the wrong word, encourage the children to be more physically active, but it's also going to encourage the teachers through behaviour change theory how to teach the children children. What's really interesting is that a research that was recently done by Liverpool John Moores University showed that 30 minutes of what we call the soccer circuit or the soccer high intensity interval training produced just as much calorific burn as it does in 30 minutes of cycling which is quite quite interesting and quite uh, quite good results really, especially, especially for the company and for John Moores University.